this is the first time that I do this type of um, commentary. Usually I do my commentary in-game. Um, this is a new server that I'm on called Castia. It's in beta right now. And so I decided to give it a try and let you know what I think. Um, right now already you could see um, when the game starts I wasn't really on the pillar. I was started underneath it and it kept glitching back and forth. And also that display on the side is going to do that the whole entire game. That's that's one of the major little glitches at the beginning. Um, but this is in beta, so throughout this video, you know, I'm just going to be pointing things out. And it doesn't mean that, like, I'm hating on the server or whatever. It's, it's a new server. Um, the people that are running it, or where I found out about it, is Grazer10, Bayani, and HBomb. And they were playing on it and they said for other people to come play on there and let them know where the problems were so that you they can fix them and get them fixed because they want this to be you know an up and running new server that's coming out so people could play on and so I was like I'll give it a go and there is a lot there is a lot of things like not a lot of problems but there is a lot of things that I like about this new server um, and it's it's a lot of fun there's uh i will i'm gonna go over i was gonna like i was deciding whether to say like okay this is good this is bad this is good this is bad but i think i'm gonna go with what i found um the problems that i found first and then i'll go over what like the pros about the thing so obviously i already said about the pillars and the little display hud that keeps blinking um i came over here off to the side because i know in some um, other servers you know that you can find some good loot on the outside and it, it takes me a long while <laughs> to actually find some chest out here. Um, I think that they, they should add more chest. Um, not like a lot, you know, I don't want one like, you know, two every little few blocks. But just some more because it does take me a while of searching to actually find a chest out here. Um, also, to that fact, the <laughs> the food really needs to get checked. You just do a few little jumps and you already lost a good chunk of food. So that that's another thing that's got to, you know, <laughs> the the saturation, I I think it would you would say they need to fix on. But other than that, uh, and also the um a lot of the chests, they they really don't have like the best items. I'm not looking for diamond armor right off, you know, right out of a chest, but even some wooden something something they could actually use. And I looked and I found all these these houses there'd be a couple little buildings that I go into and they they don't have anything there's like nothing inside so like it's it's not even worse coming over here because i know a lot of people see buildings and they'll just run over there and say oh, okay okay there's stuff inside buildings you know let me let me run in there but um what was it i looked at a few and the, like this one had one and then the other ones out there they really didn't have anything worth um searching and you know you, you you're gonna die if you come over here to a lot of the buildings and you really don't find anything um, worth value and also um what was the other thing that i was going to say about i know the items oh also oh here it is one thing that i that i um i like how they have the like the noise i know in is it mc mc's the mc servers they have lightning and this one has explosions when people die which is pretty fun but <laughs> half the time when they were exploding they they sound like they're right next to you and i was uh the first time i heard it i was like oh crap I thought maybe somebody could like there you could add di like TNT and just they were like blowing the crap out of somewhere. I wasn't realizing that they were actually like it was the way of showing that a player had died. But that that was that was pretty cool. Um also the um they're going to have um uh, I'm going to link down the video of Grazers um uh, to show what all they're going to have on these in this new um Castia server. But the little things I like, off the bat that there are going to have mini games they're also going to have um faction servers and just so you could use this like as a main hub like kind of like how mineplex has tons of like things that you can do on there uh that's how they're going to try to that's how I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that they're going to try to make this server is kind of like mineplex with tons of um little um you know different mini games and different things so you don't just have to come into a server and it's just one thing like the factions um dynasty you know it was just for factions and then M, you know stuff like that they want it to like 
bring in more people and have more people come on and you know just have a variety of different stuff so they just don't have a server that's used for one main purpose and i th I think that's pretty cool because i like jumping on a server and then with a bunch of friends and then just having different stuff that you could just go oh you know what okay let's not do sg anymore and let's let's go do factions or you know and i don't have to keep jumping to a different server every time i could just stay in one server and and do that stuff and that, that that's pretty awesome and I, and I like that 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 goes on also over here you're going to see that i have some difficulty in in a few seconds climbing that that tree with that ladder it's um I was, I was gonna take it out because it took me a few times to jump up that ladder, but it it was it was pretty. You know, I saw a chest up there and it was um. Uh, I thought that it was gonna have like some great things in there just because it was so high, but you know, as as you're about to see that it it really doesn't. And, uh, see, there goes that explosion again. Now, um, at this point, I'm gonna um once I get up on this ladder, that takes me a while. You know, the struggle is real, trying to get on that ladder right there. But after I um, do get on the ladder and I go in there and look at the chest, I bring up my, um, what is it, how would you, my displace, my settings. I bring up my settings because I was trying to just um, fix the, the noises. Because you can't hear them now, but, you know, they're, everything was pretty loud and I hadn't really um, adjusted the settings yet. So I was adjusting the settings. But during them, um, you'll see in the far left corner something, um, a little blink thing. Um, like a, I don't know, status would pop up and it's just to let you know. And this is one of the things that I really love about this. And you'll see it like in about a few seconds, it'll pop up and you'll still have time to read it when it comes up. See it popped up there in the red. Now that in, it's going to be, now it's like hunting mode and everyone gets compass. And I was all like, oh, that is awesome because you don't want those. There's those people that once it gets closer to the end, they'll find a spot and they'll just hide. And that just, oh, it's forever. And it gets frustrating sometimes because you just want the game to end because it's taking so long to find people. And I thought them implementing the compass was a great idea. And also when, as you're going to see in a few seconds when I turn on the actually noticed that I actually got the compass because I was in my settings. I didn't even notice that I had picked up that they dropped the compass and everyone gets one. And even if it says, even if your inventory is full, they'll drop it besides you. Uh, it'll drop it beside you. So you could just grab it like that. Now, right here, usually in, um, Mindplex, when you pick up a compass, it goes to the nearest player. But this one, if you keep clicking, it actually goes to a player to target. Like, let's say, okay, that Enderman guy, he um he gave me he gave me crap at the beginning. I'm I'm gonna hunt him down now. So I that that is really awesome. You know, so then if you, even if you're playing with friends you feel like, oh okay, let's go let's go on a hunting spree. You know, you just start clicking that and it um I I played a few games in Mindplex where I had you know, you have to tell people crouch, 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 but you know, now you don't have to tell them to crouch, you know. It, this this one works works out really good. Um and for my first game being first time being on this um you see this is what i'm talking about <laughs> a lot of the the chests they have the almost the same as that you know who needs so many helmets <laughs> like i found so many helmets in the chest that it was unbelievable Throw, toss me a chest plate or something it was that that was aggravating i was hoping to find at least something good I look at all those arrows i have and no bow it was i don't know i found more gold helmets in this one hunger craft match than in any other hunter craft match that I've played and that's uh um but the 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 scenery, the builds and everything is awesome. Uh, you know, and it's a new maps to explore. Um definitely I'm gonna put all in the link um in the description below the links to get to this new server and jump on. You know, the, it's it's young, it's a new server, so you know the possibilities are endless. And have a have at it and then let let them know definitely I'll you know, um, so they, they could fix it because, you know, beta games, that's what they need. That's what, you know, they, um, they need all the feedback they can get to make the game, you know, more enjoyable for any, everybody. Uh, right here, I thought I was going to die, uh, you know, but this, this guy looks like he got pissed and what he's going to throw at me are like flashbangs, kind of like the right there, kind of like how, you know, Batman has it where he'll toss him down and then like be a puff of smoke. Um, 
usually to escape players, but he was throwing at me just to get me the hell out of there. Um, I do end up winning this one by default, and that's just because they they die. The two players die. <laughs> uh, they kill each other, which was the first time I've ever won a Hungercraft match in, in like that, in that way where the two players kill each other at the same time. That It worked out for me. And, oh, the last thing that I have is that right after they die, it just throws you back into the hub. You don't even, like, it, you don't even know what the, like, I didn't even know what the hell happened. Like, right when they died, I just got shot into the hub, and I thought I died. But that was just, um, it just shoots you back in the hub, and I was like, okay, maybe maybe give it a little delay before it tosses you back in the hub. I, I did like it that you don't have to type backslash hub to get out of there. But just, you know, I didn't even get to enjoy the victory. <laughs> Honestly thought I died and it tossed me out. But that that was good. But all in all, it was fun. It was a fun experience. Um, it is in beta. So go test it out. Go play. Throw back feedback on it so that they could fix those problems. And when it's open, this is it is going to be enjoyable. It's going to be a fun server. And I can't wait to till it's fully um, functional. So, well... I'm going to just let you guys watch the ending of this and see how it's played out. Um, hit that like button and also leave comments. And you'll see more from this server. Um, and I will probably start my faction server back up on this new server too. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next episode.